Hey everyone, Jason from Odd Audio here. Uh, this one was a pain in my ass and I had to share it because this is like one of the trickiest faults to find and it's not a common one, fortunately, but this is a Yamaha uh, C4 preamp. These are really nice preamps, but a little on the complicated side. And they're kind of notorious for having like really fragile PCBs, like the traces lift off them really easily, which you can actually see in this one. Uh, there's been previous repair work done on the power supply and uh, it's, it's pretty nasty, but this is actually holding up okay. There's nothing wrong with the power supply in this guy, but we're having a problem with the right-hand channel cutting in and out and it was totally intermittent and uh, I was kind of scratching my head. I actually went through and I completely resoldered this entire amplifier board. This is the main amp board and the, the phono stage board. And this is where the problem is originating on the right hand channel of this thing. And so I finally, after doing all that, it still didn't change, but I could do this. So I'm going to fire it up and I've got it hooked up to my signal generator and my oscilloscope. So if you'll see here, uh, we've only got the left channel showing on the oscilloscope output. The flat line is the right channel. And if I do this, ta-da, the right channel pops back in. All I'm doing is just putting a little bit of pressure on the board. And it's not like a specific spot. It's like if I just flex the board anywhere in the middle, that happens. And it took me a while. And God knows if I'm even going to be able to show this on camera. But right, it's probably not going to show, but there is a hairline crack running from about here up to here that's passing through the traces. And the only way I could see it is by putting a flashlight on it and flexing the board. And I eventually saw the crack moving. And sure enough, it's right in the problem area. And that's why this is totally inconsistent and like only starts working when you start pushing on the board. So not only are the traces fragile on this board, but the board itself is really fragile. I mean, you can see like there are cracks in the uh, non-critical areas all over this thing, like right here around this. Fortunately, this isn't a ground lug here. The ground's up on the, on the other corner. But that's this is an obvious example, but the one that's going through here is almost totally invisible. So now I have to go through and find every break through the PCBs, scrape them off and fix them. But uh, yeah, the if you have a problem like this, uh, you know, look for cracks because that could very well be a problem, especially on these Yamahas.